Hi Sharks, I'm Jake Sandowski, and this is my beautiful wife, Michelle. We're from Los Angeles, California, and we're here seeking $400,000 for 5% in our company. Whoa, wow. Sharks, this is our friend Jerry. And like us, Jerry loves whipping up some delicious home-cooked meals. Tonight, he's making a big batch of his grandma's famous chili recipe. But let's face it, Sharks, there's no way Jerry's gonna eat all that chili in just one sitting. So what's he gonna do? He freezes some for later. But what does he freeze it in? We all know that freezing in plastic bags is a mess. Do it. But storing food in glassware that can break in the freezer is a nightmare waiting to happen. Oh, come on now. For, that, that does not, do you store, I store our chili and food in, in glass Pyrex. Like, that's not a problem. Is that a, pro, is that a problem that you've experienced, Akila? No, I, I also use the Ziploc bag. So <laughs> I'm looking at them really like that's not a problem either. I mean, I, we've, I've done, well, we've done that a few times, but generally it's gone within three or four days anyway. Like we just keep eating it for, you know, lunch and or dinner until it's mm -hmm. until it's exhausted. I don't I, you know, do we don't do the long term freezing thing. But I well, what I do sometimes I can't see the reason for it because there's only two and a quarter of us. My son is six. And Aww. so sometimes we do. I make a lot and I'll I'll split it up in the beginning. So we'll have enough for a couple of days and then freeze and we'll eat that a couple of weeks later. So that way we are eating it for like two weeks. My husband will like, stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I do get tired of it after a while myself. It's you know, but I I, I do it because I don't want to be wasteful. Like you know, I oh I, you know what we'll do is sometimes we'll order food in between. So like we'll eat it like one or two days later, and then I'll order food, and then like on the fourth or like fifth day, sixth day, we'll finish the chili out like you know through lunches or something. But but all right, let's let's see what they what they got here. What if he only wants to defrost a little bit, but he froze it in a gigantic container? It's impossible. Don't worry. Jerry. That I know is a pain, especially with the when you were um, talking about the uh, putting in the bags. Like if you don't want to defrost the whole thing, yeah, kind of stuck with it. Like anyway, so it might not be a bad idea. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Introducing Super Cubes, the best way to freeze food in perfect portions. Our silicone trays come in four different sizes, so you can freeze two cups, one cup, half cup, or even two tablespoon portions. Super Cubes has the right container for you. Just pour the food into each compartment up to the fill line, pop on the snug-fitting lid, and stack them on top of each other to store in the freezer. The next time you're ready for some of that chili again, pop off the lid, pop out a perfectly portioned cube, pretty cool. heat it up, ah. and it's ready to go. So somebody, you know, grew up loving the ice cube tray. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much. <laughs> yeah, right? I just wanted to take it to the next level. I, that's not, not a bad idea. Super Cubes, we're helping any home chef reduce their food waste, step up their meal prep game, and store their food efficiently in the freezer. Sharks, who's super excited to partner with us and freeze out the competition? Sharks in front of you guys. Oh, uh, Lori looks excited. <laughs> Did you see that face of me? <laughs> Sharks in front of it's like, oh, let me get my pen ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if she's thinking what I'm thinking. So let's see. Yeah, right. Well, that, 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 what I'm thinking is, is they better have some sales to back up this four hundred thousand dollars for five percent. See, and what I'm thinking is, as a mom, you've probably made your own food once or twice, and so you know, like made the baby food, and oh, so you yeah. know that they sell containers like this for baby food. They mm. have like cubes and, or you can re use regular ice cubes, but they, like I used to do um, ice cubes in the tray and then after they froze, take them and put them into a Ziploc bag. So you can literally just take one cube at a time. Oh, and wow. so I'm wondering if she's thinking that this isn't as innovative as they think it is. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Hey guys, you have uh, examples of some of our trays? Super cubes. Super cubes. <laughs> I love I'm just love very excited about so if you look at there's a sturdy rim and so in each rim there is steel so you have confidence walking to the freezer oh. right you fill it up with your food That's and then there's no way the tray is going to fold or collapse on you when you take it to the freezer there the plastic lid that you put on top is very firm and so you can actually stack them even before they're frozen in the freezer do you have a pattern on the product yeah, so we have a design patent that's been issued on the on the original one cup tray, and there's nice. patents pending on everything else. Well, here's the question: like, like that. On your sales? Exactly. In yeah. 2019, which is the first full year that we had to sell Super Cubes, we ended the year at 940,000. Wow! Wow! wow. We've already sold 1.6 million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And we're on track wow. with 3.3 million. Super Cubes! Last month, we sold 330,000 dollars worth wow. of Super Cubes. So tell us how. 
So it's a combination of things. We really benefit from word of mouth of our customers, and our customers love sharing about super cutes on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and they are really passionate advocates for us. What do they cost to make? Sure. That's sure. awesome. I before she gets into that, I uh, you know this this kind of reminds me of the plate topper. Do you ever have one of those or or know what those are? No, I haven't seen no. those. So it was like a plastic like top, like a almost like a cake topper, you know, that you would like okay. cover a cake with. Um, and you you it suctions the to the plate, so you could just have like keep whatever's on the plate on the plate. You throw the topper on, put it into the into the tray, you know, or into the the freezer or refrigerator. And then you, it was actually microwave safe, so you could just like pop it right in, and and it would microwave the food. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, just to, you know, especially because of how many sales that they've had. That that is awesome. That's yeah. That's I'm great. a little surprised at the sales because, like I said, I'm sitting here thinking like I could do that with an ice cube. Although I do like the rim thing. That's really that really sounds good. It'll be interesting because they told they gave the 2019 sales. It'd be interesting to see if they had a spike around you know in 2020 with the pandemic because this is something that people would need at home more now that they're eating more at home i could definitely see me on amazon looking for something like this so i want to hear their 2020 numbers too yeah <laughs> well did they, they said 3.3 million was that i don't know if that was total or... i thought that was 2019 no, no? 2019 was 1.6 million okay yeah. oh so maybe that was 2020 okay so then yeah, that's yeah. good yeah, yeah, no, they're they're. I mean, they're they're killing it. So uh, at four hundred thousand, uh, we all know that anybody watches this show knows that I'm not great at math. Uh, so what what is that? Uh, Twenty. So six million is a six million dollar uh, valuation. Four K for five percent. I'm not as good at math either. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down. Ninety five retail. Our cost landed is around three eighty per trade. Okay. Nice. Wow. Oh, like eight million. Margin. What's the sales distribution look like? Is it all direct to customer online? So about seventy eight percent of our sales come from Amazon. Eight percent of our sales come from our own website, and then fourteen percent uh, of our sales come from our retail partners. We're in every single Sorla Top store in the United States. Oh, nice. We're also in right. every single Williams Sonoma store in the United States. Wow. I built my business that way. I mean, I got into so what? Are, so what are they doing here then? Like, what are they really looking for? It seems like you just wanted us to know about you. <laughs> Right? right? Yeah. It's okay. Like they do a clubhouse. It's okay. You came on stage just to talk about your business. <laughs> like, <laughs> but you took a spot, you know, but that takes a spot away from somebody who actually needs to be there. So uh, maybe they maybe they've hit some kind of real big snag uh manufacturing them or something. I had Let's no see. money for marketing. Nordstrom said they liked Kendra Scott and that immediately gave me, you know, something to stand on because if they believed in me, one of the top retailers in the world, it was able to allow me to build my business and that business fed to my online, which is like the best. So I think that's really smart to still have some very key wholesale partners. Why do you even need a shark? You seem to merrily be rolling along. Ding, We're ding. For mentorship mm -hmm. for sharks. I think some of the things that we've realized as we've grown is there are kind of some bigger decisions that we struggle to make decisions on. So there was an opportunity to potentially sell to a very large retail but it would totally change the price point for super cubes. And so we had a really hard time thinking, well, what would our other retailers think? Is yeah. this better long term? Smart. And I think Very that smart. kind of mentorship. I mean, as a mom, I love this. And I, with my seven year old, I made baby food for him. And I would put it in these little tiny ice there you cream go. trays. Someone's thinking about the baby food. <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to get, I only need one because he's a baby and I wanted to thaw that one out. And it was like I had I had squash, frozen squash all over my kitchen. So I love this product. I think you've really come up with something brilliant. Thank you so Thank much. You. I've heard enough. I'd like to make an offer and get the game going here. Let's go, Kevin. I've heard enough. I'd like to make an offer and get the game going here. I'd like to get behind this as Chef Wonderful okay. with one specific goal with you guys. <laughs> I'd like to get direct to consumer sales up to 30%. I have many other food products in my universe of companies, and we try and share data so we can reduce our customer acquisition costs. I'm going to make an offer in two directions because I don't know how much you care about your equity versus another structure I'm going to offer here. Okay. I'll give you the $400,000. Structure one is I get a 40 cent royalty on every unit, but I only take 3% equity. That's offer one. The second offer, I'll do the wow. 400000 for 15%, no royalty, and I'll get behind it. But those are two different ways to go at it. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. Um, I'll give you two wow. offers, but nothing fancy like <laughs> Kevin uh, with the royalty, etc. Just, just I So... Uh, I missed out on on what they what they said their costs were. Um, did you happen to catch that? I know they said it cost about three, two or three dollars to make each one. And I missed out on how much it actually sells for. Sells I missed for. when she said that. 
I'll I'll find it. I'll I'll dig into it. Maybe I can go on Amazon. Four hundred thousand for ten percent, or I'll give you eight hundred thousand for twenty percent. That's so greedy. Wow. Eight hundred k for twenty. It's a lot of money. I think. I'll just be up. Twenty percent is a little bit more than we anticipated coming here today. Oh wow! So it's thirty six ninety nine for one cup tray with lid, pack of two. So you're getting two. So uh, whatever thirty six ninety nine divided by two is. So 37 divided by two is so like 1850. So they're, they're making a healthy profit. I, I still stand by like, I, I still don't quite get why they're, why they need somebody when they're making such a killer profit there. Yeah. And now I understand why she said the large retailers would have hurt their price point yep. because those are at that price point, you, you need Williams and Sonoma <laughs> yeah. um, customers. Like you're not going to be able to do that. I mean, but I guess they could still do like a higher end, like a Macy's or Nordstrom's kind of, does Nordstrom have a kitchen section? I don't know. I'll tell you how much I don't go in there, but <laughs> are they closing the Nordstrom's? I but, thought um, I'd seen they were closing. I hope not. Oh, no, it's Lord and Taylor. Lord and Taylor. <laughs> Lord and Taylor. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sad. I'm very sad <laughs> about Lord and Taylor. Yeah, I used yeah. to go to Lord's in Manhattan, like the big one on Fifth Avenue. I'm so sad oh, about wow. that. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother episode, right? <laughs> 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 but um, but yeah, I can see now why they are positioned. They did really well. I know we're going to talk about this, but they did amazing at the positioning. Yeah. Most people do not nail it the way they nailed it to keep their margins this high. That's why they're making the money. Yep. The money resides in positioning. A absolutely, and I, you know, I think that uh, you know they got they got a pretty good logo. They have a, you know, we'll check out their website at the end here. But I, you know, I. I I think they're doing great. I can't see why they would take Kevin's uh, forty cent uh, in perpetuity deal. Like, there's really I can't see why they would. There would be a need. I for hope that. not. Yeah, but the but but they're gonna give up a lot more uh, equity here if the unless they want that cash. So we'll, we'll see. Um, mm -hmm. And it's more than we discussed with our partners. I think the first off, uh, offer of Let's see how much they actually would own. Probably be a little bit more appealing to us. Why don't you like my royalty deal, which is only three percent equity? Well, perpetual royalty is the same as is a bit, is a bit yeah. uh, the same as what, what if I cap the royalty on some return? See, I left it at 40 cents, and after I get a million, um, it goes away forever. Let's say that's gone. Guys, let me clear things out. Look, what you've accomplished is great. I love your name. Best name we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just not a fit for me. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think what you guys have accomplished is incredible, but for those reasons, I'm out. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks so much, Mark. appreciate that. All right, well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. There's not one thing I was sitting here trying to think, what could I find fault with? Like, is there anything that I could find fault with? And it was, everything was a check, 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 check. Like, love you, love the product, you did everything right, you have great sales, so guess what? I am going to offer you my golden ticket. Okay. I only do it I saw once. That one time. I huh. only do it once a season. It is really gold. You guys know what it is because yeah. I've now done it for at least three years. So what it means is, is that you're the hero item that I've seen this season thus far. Wow. It's actually really gold, and I will give you the four hundred thousand for five percent. Say yes. Say That's yes. What the End the it. It's over. Gets. I mean. I can't beat that offer. I can't beat that offer. I'm that shouldn't even be a no discussion. One, no one's going to. No one's going to touch that offer. You need to say yes. Say it. yes. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. That's awesome. She gave it to us. Yeah. Shows us that she really believes in our product and she believes in us, and that means everything to us and more. Woo! All right. Good job. Good job. I'm happy for them, like I know them. <laughs> <laughs> and if they ever watch this, we friends now. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Right. We. Yeah. We. <laughs> we can all. We should all be friends. That's. I. You know. That's great. They have a great looking website here. Um, and you know, they just seem, seem so nice and they got all together and, and they've really, you know, well, one thing that didn't come up was how much equity they actually own. Uh, but you know, the, the, always keep in mind, like these pitches are an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two hours and we don't get to see everything. So I guess it wasn't that important to the, you know, to the fact that like Lori was just like, deal. Hey, we're going to give it, you know, we're going to make it happen. So they were willing to just, you know, cut all that, leave that on the cutting room floor. So who knows how much they actually own to the company, but apparently, uh, they're going to kill it. Uh, they have 800 plus uh, star, uh, 800 plus five star reviews on, on Amazon. That's, that's mm -hmm. incredible. That is great. Um, so let's see, it's, uh, it's even up and safe up to 415 degrees. Oh, that's that's all that that's is nice. that is super. I, I will I will give them that. Yeah. 
the more I hear about the product, I now kind of want one. <laughs> Right? I know I said before, <laughs> but the kid's six now, so I could see some, re- some need for this. I love the spaghetti one that you keep scrolling by very oh, fast. Let's stop there. Let's stop at the spaghetti. That's, I... in, that's <laughs> ingenious that you can put single servings of spaghetti. And again, having the six-year-old, spaghetti is one of those things that he really likes. So I would definitely double the portion of spaghetti, make him some single serves, and my husband would love me for it. So, yes. So. I'm probably going to buy this after this is over. <laughs> <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> you can post pictures of me with my super cute because I'm sold. Well, um, and the these are sold out. Like, wow. That, I mean, they're they're definitely killing it. Yeah. But I think they got the perfect deal. I think they got the perfect person with the, as soon as she had the golden ticket, I probably would have had a conversation with my husband in the beginning. Like, look, if she pulls out the golden ticket, we just say yes. Fastest yes she'll ever get. <laughs> like, because if nothing else, she's got the whole QVC connection and that will help them get into another market without hurting their price point. Because it's still that same positioning in terms of customers who are okay, willing to pay more, not trying to like bargain shop it. And so that now puts you in a whole other, you may not need the big retailers you were going after. If now you can do, you know, package a couple of these things together, put them, the, uh, you know, a hundred bucks for a package of a few of them. They're, they're in a great position. They like are. I, said, I want to be them. They, I, right? <laughs> and we're friends. So, and I want to be you guys. They're sold out. So the only thing you get is the two tablespoon one, which looks like like basically ice, an ice cube tray at that yeah. point. That uh, probably is the baby food version. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would think so. Um, so I guess yeah, you might be waiting a little while to get one, but it seems like it would be worth it. And uh, you know, now you're uh, people tell Akila tell people what you do because I I think this is a really important thing to to look at with their website. Yeah, so I help people with SEO. My brand is Girl Get Visible, so I work with entrepreneurs to learn and leverage using SEO search engine optimization. And I spend a lot of time, like I know some SEOs are really technical, some SEOs do other things. I'm the one who really spends a lot of time on your content and your content strategy and really speaking to your audience, which is why I'm so stuck on how well positioned this is. Yeah, right. <laughs> because that's really what we should do with our content, what we should do with our sites. And, and I feel like they, you don't see brands like this who, I mean, not to say they never worked with anyone, I have no idea, but you don't see brands who nail it like this too often. Even on Shark Tank, it's always like, man, you're in the wrong wrong market for what you're trying to do, and you're trying to get to the wrong customers. Um, but these, these guys really nailed it. Yeah. And you see like, so my point to bring that up, not only because you're going to bring it up at the end, but the, you know, look, they got recipes on their website, right? And wow, look how many different uh, types of recipes they, they're, they're putting Smart. up there. Yeah, it is smart. It's giving them an opportunity to bring people to their site, right? And that's what SEO, search engine optimization, is really mm-hmm. all about. So, uh, yeah. you know, shout out to them. This is great. I hope that they continue to do amazing things uh, with their with their super cubes. Uh, Akila, please tell the people where they can find out more about you and how they can work with you. So you can find me, Girl Get Visible, everywhere. So I'm Girl Get Visible on Facebook, Instagram, all the things. My website is also Girl Get Visible. And um, the best thing to do if you guys want to learn more about SEO and how to be perfect like they are <laughs> is get my um, my SEO beginner's guide, which is at girlgetvisible.com slash SEO guide. Awesome. Thank you so much, Akila. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode of Biz Coach Reacts, I need you to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video in front of more super entrepreneurs like yourself so they can learn about SEO and, and great products and how to get the golden ticket from Lori that I didn't even realize existed because it's been a couple of years since I consistently watched uh, Shark Tank myself. Um, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss another Biz Coach Reacts video. Uh, I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Take care.